Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another deep beauty video for you guys. And in this one, we're gonna talk about what it means to work on yourself. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard that term thrown around a million times. I know I definitely have and in the past. I would hear it and I would think, yeah, okay, I need to work on myself, but I would never know what it meant. It seems like such a big, arduous thing to do and it can get really confusing and demotivating when you have absolutely no idea where you're even supposed to start from. And I was talking about this in the Secret Deep Beauty Facebook group with the girls the other day. I do a Wellness Wednesday video every Wednesday where I talk about stuff that has to do with mental health. And one of the things that we were talking about was what it means to work on yourself. And I thought, you know what? I need to break this down in a bigger video for all of you guys. If you guys aren't part of the Deep Beauty Facebook community, you guys need to join. It's open only for ladies. Just go into Facebook, search under groups and put in Deep Beauty and you'll find the group and just request to join. I will put, also put a link down below in the description box for you guys. But anyways, we're gonna get into this video. Here we go. So the first tip I have for you guys when it comes to working on yourself is that you need to overcome negative thinking. That is probably the biggest thing that they mean when we talk about working on yourself, is to eliminate any of the negative thoughts that you have and replace them with positive ones. Now, how do you go about doing that? Because you know, I forget what the number is, but there's like some astronomically huge number as to how many thoughts we actually have in a day. You don't even realize you're having these thoughts and a lot of them can be negative ones. They can be, well, I forgot to do this and shoot, I gotta go do that, and why didn't I take this out, and oh, the shirt doesn't look very good on me. There's just constant barrage of negative thoughts that go on in your mind, and what you need to do is you have to actively pay attention to them. So you have to actively monitor the thoughts that are going on in your mind, and when you're having a negative one, you have to stop yourself in your tracks, and you have to switch it, and think of anything positive that you can possibly think of, about yourself or about the situation. So just say you're in the middle of a negative thought, something like, oh, I forgot to return that library book. I know nobody really goes to the library anymore, but I do. Um, anyways, just so just say you're thinking that you forgot to return, oh shoot, I forgot to return that book at the library. I'm always late. Just replace it with a positive thought, something like, oh, I'm so proud of myself for finishing that whole entire book. Yeah, maybe it took me an extra day to return it, but at least I got to finish it and I learned so much from it. You know, just anything that you can do, you just have to constantly monitor your thoughts. And guys, this is an ongoing process. I am telling you right now that it's not something that you're gonna do for a couple of days and then all of a sudden you're gonna have a handle on it and you won't have to focus on it anymore. This is constant, constant, day in, day out. You have to pay attention to your thoughts. And this is how you create that self-esteem, the confidence, everything that you need to have inside of you so that you can go about and do what you were meant to do on this earth. Number two is to believe in yourself. This is one that a lot of people struggle with, myself included. You want to look at yourself and realize that you have this limitless potential and the only thing that's truly, truly stopping you is what's going on in here. Every morning I want you guys to wake up and I want you to wake up with whatever it is that you have that you want to accomplish. I want you to see yourself having accomplished it already. Hold this as a visual image in your mind and no matter what voices creep into your head or what obstacles come your way, do not let that image go. This is what it means to work on yourself. It's constant, constant, constant process that you have to really just implement. And I promise you, it gets a lot easier the more you do it. You want to eliminate any of your bad habits. This is a big one, guys, because once you eliminate those bad habits and get them out of the way, you can make room for all these positive habits that are going to enrich in your life and help you become the person that you were meant to be. So if you are a smoker, if you're a drinker, if you watch too much reality TV, trust me, that's an addiction. Um, you want to stop these things as soon as you possibly can. So educate yourself on how to stop these things. If it's smoking, there's the patch, there's hypnosis, there's a bunch of other things you could do. Drinking, you can go to AA. There's so many different ways to stop these bad habits and then start to replace them with positive ones. Start educating yourself. Read books, read self-improvement books, self-help books, watch motivating YouTube videos, listen to podcasts. If you haven't subscribed to my podcast yet, link is down below. Just inundate yourself with positive things and whatever your interests are, just educate yourself on that as well. There's no limit to the things that you can possibly learn in this world. Set goals and smash them. 
And if you are the type of person that is not very good at following through, set really, really, really tiny ones. Like in the Deep Beauty Facebook group, we do a monthly challenge. And the first monthly challenge that we had uh, was a exercise one. And it was just to get you moving. And the only requirement was that you commit yourself to 10 minutes of exercise a day. That is it. That is what we started out with. And a lot of people can look at it and be like, well, what's that gonna do? If you wanna build your self-esteem, if you wanna build your self-confidence, you have to believe that you're capable of achieving goals. So that's why you wanna start really, really small. And as you smash that goal and then you set yourself another goal and you smash that one, the more goals that you have accomplished, the more you're going to believe in yourself and the bigger the goals that you can then create. So that's such an important one, guys. That is gonna help you distract from negative thinking. That is gonna help you believe in yourself. And that is going to help you get rid of bad habits and develop positive ones. So that is one of the biggest ones that I can tell you guys. But this is really the last point that I wanna make when it comes to working on yourself. Travel. Traveling is one of the biggest things that you can do to opening your mind. Because when you travel, you see different cultures, you experience different things. It really starts to change your perception of the world. And it does definitely shape you as a person. It's such an important thing if you guys have the resources to. Even if you don't, I mean, you can go a couple of cities over to maybe a town that you haven't been to, go to their main street, just be in that community and just see what a different community looks like. And I promise you, two cities over, like, okay, for instance, I live in Burlington, Ontario, Canada. Niagara-on-the-Lake is about 45 minutes away from me. I hadn't been there until a couple of summers ago, but when you go there, it's like a completely different world. And it just changes who you are because you're just in a different environment and it just really just has an impact. So I promise you travel will definitely enrich in your life and ultimately help you work on yourself. So I hope this video helped you guys. I hope it helped break it down for you because I know that I never used to know what it meant to work on yourself. I was just like, okay, that's fine. I'll work on myself, but what does that mean? So I hope this clarified it for you guys. And if you have any requests for videos, let me know in the comments below and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next week with another video. Take care.